What's up YouTube? So today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions of the Jelvica Pro by ASIC Skateboarding. This is ASIC Skateboarding's version of a cup sole. The silhouette of the shoe is close to a New Balance 508 or the Adidas Booznitz. This is a view on foot so that way you guys can get a better idea of how the silhouette actually looks. As I said before, they look similar to the New Balance 508. So this is the Japan Pro. It looks like an AF1 silhouette. Puffy tongue, tongue straps. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on so you can see a full review of all of these products. So first things first, I need to do a kick look test. Alright, so far they're feeling good. My guess is this is how soccer shoes feel because they're like completely like molded to my foot in a way. So I have infinite board fills. They fit true to size. They're not too tight, not too loose. I wear 10, got a 10. These shoes skate great. And so far from what I'm feeling, they don't feel like they have a lot of impact protection. At least not the ones that I got, but I did order some more. They look like they have a thicker sole and they're supposed to be more of a cup sole. You will be getting those in Monday along with some FP insoles because I want to keep skating these shoes. I just might switch out the insoles if they feel like they're hurting my feet. The grip on the shoe feels great. The board size I just did right there, I thought I was actually going to fall off the board, but when I look down, my foot's still holding on to it. Woo! Woo!
All right, guys, so my final conclusion is these shoes are a 7 out of 10. ASICs really tried to do a good job, uh, especially with their, their marketing campaign and all the promotion that they put out. Um, when it came to the shoes, I'd say lack of an insole. I ended up having to switch them out, and if I wouldn't have bought those other insoles that I bought, these things would have really killed my feet. As far as the shoes go, after three sessions, some damage to the laces, a kickflip hole, some wear and tear where the ASICs logo is. And I'm typically a person who skates once or twice a week. So after three sessions, if they look like that and you're somebody who does a lot of flip tricks, they're probably not gonna last you very long. So on day two, I did notice the, the shoes weren't as snug. They were a little bit looser. I felt like I was getting blisters on my feet from my feet kind of rubbing together so much and them not feeling as snug as the day before. Luckily, they did put a second pair of laces in there. That is something I hope they keep doing because I really appreciate that because I'm definitely gonna blow through these. The kind of first major problem with them that I noticed after the first session, the insoles are really thin. This is like the thinnest cup sole ever. I felt my knees hurting, I felt my feet hurting. I literally had to buy some uh, FP insoles to go with them to put them in there. This part right here, I feel like it's a little too wide and maybe they should have gone with a more narrow shape of it. She would have felt a little bit tighter. The gel that they have in there, it's very thin. If they're gonna call it a cup sole, they should actually make it to where there's a lot more of that product in there. But don't get me wrong, they give you an amazing amount of force feel. And that is definitely a plus about them. I love that fact. So if you guys got value from this content and you enjoyed it today, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. All right guys, see you in the next one. And for anybody unsure, I am here! Ah, 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 ah.